lot of you guys already know me. Well, Tech on Wheels, been around 15 years, and over the past few years, I've escalated to the level. All right. Basically, I get this call from a garage uh, down in Newark, and they had this beast here, a 97 Ford E250 with 4.2 liter V6. The plate was some other shop had put an engine in this vehicle. It's a commercial vehicle, 317,000 miles on it. And the customer had the car for like two months, driving around. All of a sudden, he, had, he was on the highway, he had reduced power. Pop, 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 pop. It was like chin chin bang bang. On 15 seconds, I can pretty much tell you what the problem is, what area you should go, what road you should go down. And there's five roads to go down. I, I kind of I like, I like combine the, the valve timing and the ignition timing together. I just call it timing. So there's basically the, the clog cap road, the timing road, lack of fuel, lack of spark. And just basically putting the probe up the tailpipe and cranking the engine 15 seconds, I can tell you which, which area it is. I mean, think about this. <clears throat> Brand new camera, you're not going to believe what I fire off. He goes, you're not going to believe it. It's unbelievable. How's this thing looking? Ooh, look at that. Look at this thing here. Here's the new one. Here's the old one. Do you know what this little hub is made out of? <coughs> aluminum. These sleeves are pressed on aluminum. These aluminum pieces, and they snap right off. And then, and then to make matters worse, look at this guy. This poor soul drilled this aluminum piece out. He has no choice. What's he going to do, pull the whole cup, time cover off? He did a nice job. He, he drilled two holes, used a puller, and he popped the whole piece off, right off the crank. 